if you give in to the victim mentality and what you're going through, if you attribute your circumstances and you put yourself on the losing side that your circumstances dictate your value, dictate your, um, your worth and, and, and your status in life, if you allow that to permeate into your mind, surely you will be brought into a rut, a pit, a prison cell, a place of desolation, dryness, a place of defeat. Be weary, be careful with giving in to the mentality that you are a victim. The Bible says that you are more than a conqueror. You are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. Most of this battle on earth has to do with identity. The devil wants to deceive you. He is the father of lies. He is the great deceiver. And so your circumstances, and especially not just your circumstances, the forces of, of evil, they like to de envelop inside of you as feelings. And they often have a voice and they speak defeated thoughts. They speak, um, it's just this feeling accompanied with the voice, accompanied with logic. Well, look at your circumstances. Well, look at, uh, you know, how you feel. Uh, you know, life just isn't fair to you. Look at this person. Be careful with compare. Oh. Uh, comparison never ever f fall into the trap because that's what it is it's a trap of the devil to compare yourself with someone doing better than you because there's somebody doing worse than you right you're not at the tip of the iceberg and you're not at the very bottom of the turtle pole or whatever you want to call it there's people worse off than you. There's people better off than you. So don't fall into the uh, just the ideology and the, the you know your perception is key in this whole thing of life. And as a man thinks, so will he be. Okay, so is he. Please just be careful with these two things. Okay, the victim mentality. And comparison if you compare yourself with other people that don't they look like they have the nice life and they look like they don't have any problems and when and, and notice I'm saying look like look because they, they look it you don't live with them and you and if you did you would see that they they don't have the lives that they portray so I'm just trying to um, let you know that you have problems join the club everyone has problems we live in a fallen world the devil is rampant the devil is out to steal kill and destroy god is your protector your defender connect yourself to god and never make the mistake please 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 listen to this do not point your finger at your help and 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 have an attitude towards the only help that really can help you. Okay, people can only do so much for you. Ultimately, God is your help, your hope, your everything. And a lot of people, because a lot of the devices formed against you, a lot of the weapons formed against you is for you to catch an attitude with God. Blame Him for your circumstances, because that's easy to do. Well, God is love, then why am I going through this? And why I prayed, and I'm not going to... And I just, I'm giving you the keys and the understanding of how to go about life, okay? I'm letting you know firsthand, you're not alone. Everybody's going through tough times, hard times, suffering times, and, and a lot of it is unfair. It's unprovoked. It's like, why am I going through what I'm going through? And if you were to take somebody else and compare yourself in that situation, it brings you down. 
more down than you already felt. Because now you're comparing yourself to somebody that's up. At that particular point in time, they're up. Doesn't mean they're always up. Just means they're looking at somebody that's up, smiling. Maybe they just got a new car or something. And you're like, well, I wish I was you. It must be nice. <laughs> you know? But it's just, they're going through that in top of the mountaintop at that particular moment in time. Wait a week. Wait two weeks. <laughs> it's not going to be like that anymore. And we're constantly going like this in life. And what I mean by that is, is that sometimes you have a, a victory day where everything is like, man, I'm, I'm having a good day today. And then the next day, guess what? It's challenges. It's testing. It's it's seeing, it's seeing you know, probing and prying to seeing what what it is that's inside of your life that shouldn't be there. And often, what's when when you're going through hard times and you're squeezed by your situation, the stuff that is living inside of you gets squeezed out, and that's where the rage, the anger, the bitterness, the resentment, the unforgiveness, it pops up, and it's like ah. It was living inside of you the whole time. But now that your situation, your circumstances has brought it up out of you. God wants to deal with all that kind of stuff. So, I believe that one of the reasons why we go through hard times is for God to deal with our character. And make us more like Him. Jesus never stopped in the middle of His torment and torture and all, the, all of, the, of the, the persecution and all that. He didn't say, okay guys, you know, time out. And he, and he gave everybody a lecture about how he's been, been very good to everybody. Like, Jesus took it. And he, he like, he, he remained, uh, like, this perfect person under scrutiny, under harsh elements. He became, he, he, he remained in line and in tune with God, the Father, um, allowing bad things to happen even if he was doing nothing but good he allowed the bad because ultimately he trusted God ultimately he knew that God was going to bring it all around today Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father with a cup full of joy and um, you know he gave us all his victory uh, you know we reign with him in Christ we reign with him in heaven we're seated in heavenly places we are now partakers of something that we would never be partaking of. We have been adopted into the beloved. We've been received all because Jesus paid the price. And so Jesus, to Jesus, it was like, you're worth it. I'm worth it. But he said, in this life, you're going to suffer. But take heart. I have overcome the world. And so don't look at other people and compare. Do not adopt the, the, the victim mentality because that only leads to an elevator going down into the pits, all right? And it's really hard to get out of that. A lot of people that, that adopt the victim mentality, they, ne they never move out of that place. They stay stuck there. And it's very unfortunate because if they were to have this determination and this, uh, this like fight attitude, this rebellion attitude that they have towards other things, you know, <laughs> it's like, well, I don't wanna listen to my boss or I don't want to listen to what they're telling me to do here or there they have this rebellious attitude why don't you take that rebellious attitude and and and, and, and bring it against the devil and say I'm not going to submit to this victim mentality and I'm not going to allow you to defeat me with your tactics I see you I see what you're trying to do and I'm going to overcome the same way Jesus overcame I'm going to overcome by trusting the Father having faith I'm going to pray my way through. I'm going to listen to the Bible. I'm going to see what God wants to tell me in this season, why I'm going through it, what He wants to teach me, what He wants to show me, how He's going to bring me through. I'm going to trust Him in all things. And I'm going to believe that God is faithful and just, right? That in due season, He's going to tie this whole thing up, like all loose ends. He's going to tie it up, dot the I's, cross the T's. And then in the end, all this hardship, will be a blessing because God wrapped it up for me as a present and said, look, you went through hard times, but here's a, you know, uh, uh, something that I did with the hard times. 
This is what I made for you. This is what I built. This is what I I created through the hard times. You know, most most people, if not all people, look and say it was worth it. Thank you. They thank God at the end for the hard times that they thought that they would never thank God for. Because when you're going through birthing pains as a mother, you're pushing, you're pushing, and it's it's strenuous, it's hurt, it's hard, like it's hard. I don't know. I'm a man, but for the women, you can see it all over them. The discomfort, the pain, they're crying, they're screaming, they're in agony. However, when they give birth and the baby has come out of the womb, they're holding that precious child and the precious child is looking back at, at his mom and uh, they forget the pain that they just went through. The pain turns into unexpl unexplainable joy. Because they're looking at their daughter or son and forget the pain. Look at this. And it was totally worth it to them. Totally worth it. They will do it again and again just because of what they got out of that. So that's the, the, that's the mentality that you need to have because that's what the Bible says. Okay, What I'm telling you is what the Bible says. But do not. Okay, Three things just to sum up the whole message. Be careful, please. Just turn it around. If you've already adopted it, turn it around. Throw it away. Because the temptation is there. But trust me, man, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. You're really you're, you're sabotaging yourself when you do this. Stay away from comparison. Don't compare yourself to the rich people, the celebrities that have everything. Because there's people that are worse off to, than you. Why don't you compare yourself to the people that are worse off than you? Why does it always have to be the people that have stuff that you want? Why can't it be the people that can't eat? They don't have water, shelter, or food. And look at you. You're living like a king and a queen compared to them. So if you're going to compare, I mean, come on. I mean, at least that way you could be grateful instead of instead of jealous and envious and, and this and that. So it's a tactic of the devil. That's what I'm trying to say. So be careful with comparison. Be careful with the victim mentality where the devil uses a lot on a lot of people because he uses the, the circumstances of the people. Everybody's suffering, guys. Everybody's going through hard times. Nobody's exempt. Nobody's exempt. Even if you have a lot of money, you're still going through hard times because there's sickness, there's accidents, there's death. There's all kinds of other things that, that happen to life that money doesn't help, okay? There's a lot of people that are rich and they have alcoholism, they have drug addiction, they have demons, they have depression, they're suicidal. Robin Williams killed himself. There's a lot of actors and a lot of Hollywood stars out there that they're just hanging on by a thread and you think that they have it made and it's not the, the, the facts. The facts are is that <clears throat> God is what fulfills and satisfies, okay? It's a chasing, it's a following, it's a connecting to God that we need to do on a daily basis in order to just quench all the things of this earth so that we don't pursue this earth and the things of this world, but we pursue the, what, the Lord and His riches, His glory, His, His fulfillment, satisfaction in our souls, period. So be careful with the victim mentality. Be careful with comparison. What was the third one that I said? I said something else. I forgot. Comparison, victim mentality. And there was a third one I said. Oh yeah, pointing your finger at God and blaming Him for your problems. Big mistake if you do that. Don't do that. He's the only one in your corner. The only one that really cares. The only one. I know that your circumstances, your situation doesn't show that. But trust me when I tell you that if you get on his corner and he's always right no matter what because God is good God is love if you go against this up here because guess what this is always going to have questions it's always going to have doubts it's always going to have things that it has to say and why this and why that always this is an is enmity towards God this right here the mind enmity towards God so we don't follow God so much with that we follow God with our heart and with with our spirit understand that God said walk by faith and not by sight 
Sight is your circumstances. Sight is how things are, uh, look. Your faith is how things will look once you believe, decree, declare, and come in alignment with him. And you start to shift and change what the things look like through your faith. The Bible says, the mountain's there, but speak to the mountain and tell it to move. And it will obey you if you have faith as small as a mustard seed. The Bible says that you, the weapons will be formed against you. He didn't say it's not going to be formed against you. Weapons are going to be formed against you, but they will not prosper. The Bible says in this world you're going to suffer, but take heart, I have overcome the world. The Bible says that you're going to be squeezed, but not crushed. You're going to be, you know, feeling like the effects, but notice that you don't die. Notice that it doesn't really overtake you completely. Those that have faith in Jesus Christ, God will always see them through. Okay? He didn't promise you. That you people relate heaven, the life after this one, to what we're going to live now. Heaven is going to have the butterflies and and the unicorns and all that kind of stuff that, that uh, people talk about, that, you know, God is love and God is this and why why this or why that no no that's heaven heaven ain't heaven doesn't have despair heaven doesn't have tears heaven doesn't have pain sorrow regret shame guilt condemnation heaven doesn't have any of that and God's gonna wipe away every tear okay God's gonna make everything right God's gonna make it all okay on that day where where you know he he makes all things new a new heaven and a new earth that day is coming. But for right now, we live in a fallen world where the devil's rampant. The devil's trying to take souls to hell. And there's, we live in a broken system with a corrupt officials and a whole lot of evil all around us. And God says, be the light. Be the light in the dark place. Be the salt of the earth. Go and do good unto others, even your enemies. Go and feed them and give them something to drink. Be good. Right? Now, in order to do that, you got to be a warrior. You got to be a soldier. You got to be strong. Right? You have to have conviction, you have to have character, you have to be rooted in Christ. You can't be swayed by your feelings, swayed by your circumstances. You gotta stay the course regardless of the fact. Right? Because we understand as Christians that God is in ultimately in control. Right? And so we serve him. And ultimately he's gonna make all things uh, you know, come through, happen, and you know, and, and we just believe, decree, declare, have faith, fight for the victory in terms of like have faith and pray and all that kind of stuff, and don't adopt the victim mentality of uh, other people get the victory but not me and this and that. That's the devil's oldest trick in the book. So I hope that that this video helps you and you don't uh, fall into those traps because that's what they are. They're traps. Don't fall into them. Don't even, don't entertain it even for a moment. Because it will try to grab you and it will take you for a ride. The victim mentality will take you for a ride. The, the, the comparison thing will take you for a ride. Before you know it, you're looking at the world like, like, you know, like you're less than, like your value went away, like this, that, and the other. And it's all a lie. Don't, don't, don't feed into it. You know? Think highly of yourself. Think esteeming thoughts. Think good things about yourself. You know, love on, love yourself. You know, speak life over yourself. Even when your situation looks hard, be your be your biggest supporter. Be like, yo, we're gonna get through this. Write yourself notes on the board. You know, hug yourself if you need to hug yourself. You know. Um, it's, it's just the things that you need to do in order to stay the track and stay the course so that you don't fall into the place of being uh, ruined by, uh, by the things that are trying to take you down. You know, put your trust in, in, in the Lord. He will not fail you.